Hey, hello again, everybody. Santa Claus. Back again. Still in Batangas. <laughs> so just another uh, kind of lazy, quiet day. Haven't done a whole lot. Um, well, I did do some things. I got some more grass cut before the uh, battery died again. Um, it's all charged up now, so I'm ready to go again. But I'll save that for maybe tomorrow or Monday. Tomorrow's Sunday. I don't really always like to cut the grass on Sunday, but I might. Uh, I did talk to uh, Grace and uh, my daughter a little bit. They're having fun. As I said yesterday, they, they took a little trip celebrating some birthdays. Um, and uh, they made it there fine, no problems. They're enjoying themselves. Uh, Adam's house, he's got a nice pool now they just built. And they're building another uh, little house on their property. So, uh... I guess they're doing pretty good. They seem to be doing well. They're spending money. Anyway, that's good. I'm glad Catherine's having a good time. Uh, I'm kind of enjoying the quietness over here. i just been keeping busy. Uh, cleaning. As I said yesterday, I cleaned all the wooden shelves in here. Uh, we have these things called book book what that which I've mentioned before uh, Listen guys if, if you ever build a house in the Philippines Don't don't put any wood They're not termites It's not termites, but the Philippines does have those too But they stick more outside If you have wood outside the termites will get it but this is inside and even if you have it treated and painted and stained they still get in your wood and they make like this dust so wood dust almost like if you when you saw a piece of wood you see the dust on the ground that's what you get really really fine wood dust is these book book books and they eat the wood so if you ever build a house with shelves and all that stuff use metal or plastic or Whatever else you can find, but don't use wood like we did. Uh, I had no idea when we uh, put these shelves in that we were going to have a book book. And also, lately we've been getting these winged, little winged uh, bugs every night. These bug lights I have kill thousands of them every night. But they're also getting in the house. And we have screens on every window. Every window has screens, but they're tiny, so maybe they're getting through the screens. I don't know, but they're getting in, and there's these tiny little wings. Their little wings fall off everywhere, and they're super lightweight, so they're hard to sweep up. So uh, I have a vacuum, and that seems to do a better job than a broom, really, because when you hit it with the broom, they just fly everywhere. They're super, super lightweight. They're almost... They're lighter than air. And uh, vacuum seems to do best. Uh, I bought a vacuum a while back at a hardware store. And uh, does the job pretty well. Sucks up all the book book and the wings. So every day you got to do that. More than once a day actually for the wings. Uh, when my wife's here, she sweeps three, four times a day. But... Uh, I don't know, for some reason she doesn't like to vacuum. So uh, she put it upstairs. I don't know why she put my vacuum away. So now I got it out and I'm using it. And uh, I rearranged some furniture. So I uh, hope she likes it. If she doesn't, oh well, she'll move it later. But uh, the way I have it is much better the way it was before. Um be a little surprise for her when she walks in the door. 
I didn't go upstairs at all. I don't go to the second floor. All the bedrooms are on the second floor, except for mine, of course, because I hang in the uh, separate apartment here. Uh, so I don't do anything on the upstairs level. Um, that's basically her territory. Her bedrooms up there, and the other two bedrooms that don't really get used. They're just basically used for guests and storage. Uh, I've been hearing music all day over here. I don't know if you guys can hear it. And there's also some kind of truck or van or something that's going up and down the street with boom, 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 bass. I don't know what they're advertising. It's usually a political thing when they do that, but it's uh, it's not time for that yet. But that's coming up real soon. Uh, the election's next year, and uh, I'm pretty sure Pacquiao is running. Um, I'm sure he's going to win. If he runs, he's going to win. He's very popular here, and he's already in the government. So, it's uh, probably going to be the Philippines' next president, Manny Pacquiao, which is good. I think it's a good thing. Very popular and well-liked. He does a lot of good things for the Philippines. So we'll see. I don't know. Uh, I'm not positive he's running, but I'm pretty sure he is. See, can you hear that? It's just uh, like a truck with big speakers in it. It's running up and down the street. I'm not going to go out there and film it. I know my brother will say, Hey, why don't you go out there? I want to see it. Nah. Uh, anyway, that's really all I got for you. Um, just made myself a little lunch uh, a while back there. I had a little uh, pastrami sandwich when I went shopping. They had a, a thing of pastrami, which I don't buy lunch meat very often. I know it's not that good for you, processed meat. But it looked good, so I got a pack. It's not cheap. None of these, uh, not much is really cheap around here. Even though they, you know, they say you can live cheap in the Philippines. Certain things, but then certain things are really high also. It all balances out. It's all kind of relative. I mean, you can live cheap, especially if you live in a province or something. If you're uh, frugal with your money, you can always live cheaper than uh, what you think. But, uh, you know, things aren't necessarily cheap here. The only thing that's really cheap here is labor. People do things uh, relatively cheap here because they're used to making, you know, 10 bucks a day, 500 pesos, 400 pesos. Uh, so uh, that, that's really where you save your money but materials and stuff like that it's not cheap uh, still no luck nobody coming looking at the house or nothing like that I don't know what the problem is got the brand new sign out there nice and bright and big nobody uh, I'm just hoping and praying somebody will come by and look at it I mean, uh, even if it's the price that they don't like, it says negotiable. Make me an offer. Come on by, bring some money, make me an offer. And once again, you get that 5% back to whoever finds me a buyer. It's like 200,000 pesos for uh, just finding a buyer. So, uh, that's it, man. That's all I got for you. I don't like to make these videos too long. I don't like to ramble on. Uh, I just try to keep you updated on everything. And, uh, that's going to do it. I appreciate you guys watching. I know it's not always exciting, but I hope you enjoy it. If you haven't subscribed already, I would appreciate it. Leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. 
And uh, take care of yourself, your friends, your family, everybody. Be kind. God bless. Santa Claus now living in the Philippines. Over and out.